Right now, live at 5, the latest on a nearly $2 billion spending plan for Minnesota that's now in the Senate's hands. An increase in hospitalizations, what St. Luke's and Essentia officials are telling us. And it's the last day of Judge Amy Coney Barrett's hearings to confirm her to the Supreme Court. Why it could be at least a week before a vote is held. Plus, a new study warns the coronavirus could erase years of progress for working women. We'll tell you why. And as cold weather moves in, it's time to start talking about the Berkey, the plans organizers have in place to pull it off during a pandemic. You're watching Live at 5 on Live Local CBS3. Welcome to the CBS3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look from downtown Duluth where city officials say hospitalizations are up, but many of the patients aren't ones who have tested positive for COVID-19. Good evening, I'm Kristen Bakke. And I'm Anthony Matt. Thanks for joining us. A nearly $2 billion spending plan to improve infrastructure across Minnesota is now on its way to the governor's desk. The GOP-controlled Senate approved a bonding bill in special session this afternoon that will fund $113 million worth of projects in northeastern Minnesota. Today's news comes after late-night passage by the House on Wednesday. That includes upgrades to the Sudan Underground Mine State Park, $7.5 million to keep the prisons in Willow River and Togo operational, funding for the seawalls in Duluth, upgrades to buildings on the UMD campus, the St. Louis County Regional Behavior Health Crisis Facility, and much more. Lawmakers in our area say passing the bill was critical for the region. It's a big infrastructure package that's going to create uh, thousands of jobs in a time when the COVID-19 is causing people to lose their jobs. And on top of it, it's going to be uh, saving jobs at the, at the Togo and Willow River uh, sites. The bill provides $200 million in tax relief for small businesses and farmers and $700 million for safe roads and bridges across the state. We did reach out to Republicans for comment but have not heard back as of news time. Duluth area hospitals say they're seeing an increase in patient hospitalizations. But it's not necessarily patients who've tested positive for COVID-19. CBS 3's Emma Quinn joins us live from downtown Duluth. Emma, you heard from hospital officials this morning. What are they saying about this? So, Tony, Essentia Health and St. Luke's Hospital officials say while there has been an increase in hospitalizations over the last month or so, many of those patients that they're seeing are not because of COVID-19. Hospital officials say many patients have been reluctant to seek care for medical diseases or get preventative care due to the pandemic. Those diseases can range from hypertension, congestive heart failure, to a colonoscopy procedure. The delay in care has resulted in many ending in the up in the emergency room and overnight stays in the hospital. Officials emphasized while there are COVID-19 patients being hospitalized, the buildings are safe and encourage you to seek the care you need. If you need care, please come see us. The alternative could be disastrous. Patients have delayed, delayed care for too long. Rest assured, our hospitals and clinics are safe. Essential health officials say they've cared for more stroke patients than ever before since the pandemic started, likely do, they say, to people delaying care. Now, leaders of both hospitals say if you aren't feeling well, they encourage you to go seek the care you need, and they are encouraging everyone to get a flu shot this season as it is more important now than ever. Emma, we've seen nationwide hospitals at full capacity. We just saw in Wisconsin they activated a field hospital of sorts over there. Have uh, hospital officials had anything to say about capacity here? So, Tony, while they are seeing a high capacity of uh, patients, they are well staffed and they haven't reached that limit yet. They say they have plans in place should that occur. And as of right now, everything is under control. We'll keep Tony? our eye on it. Thanks, Emma. Itasca County Health Leaders gave an update today on the county's COVID cases as numbers continue to rise. As of today, the county is reporting 627 cases total. 223 of those have been reported in the last two weeks. Ten residents are currently hospitalized with three in the ICU. One new death was reported over the weekend. During today's update, leaders wanted to put a special focus on mental health and how to cope with changes related to COVID-19. They say the suicide rate in Minnesota has gone up 32 percent for people with mental illness since the start of the pandemic. Officials say Itasca County suicide rates mirror that of the state. 
They say it's important to understand the hardships people are facing day to day. I want to point out that change is hard and uncertain. It creates stress and maybe compels us to act and speak in ways we normally would not do. We need now more than ever kindness and to treat each other with grace and understanding. Health leaders say it's important to stay connected with people and not isolate during these times. If you are struggling with mental health and need resources, you can find those on our website or you can call the number on the screen. Switching to politics now, the Senate Judiciary Committee has set next Thursday as the day they will vote to appoint Judge Amy Coney Barrett to the Supreme Court. Republicans are racing to fill the seat on the nation's highest court before the November election. Skylar Henry reports from Capitol Hill. New Jersey Senator Cory Booker admitted likely defeat for Democrats, looking to stop the confirmation of Judge Amy Coney Barrett. And this goose is cooked. But he and other Democrats used their time on the last day of Barrett's hearing to plead for more Republicans to not confirm the U.S. Court of Appeals judge when the vote goes to the Senate floor, or at least delay the process. To not be able to answer whether you believe in the peaceful transfer of power, I, I just found that stunning. What was the purpose of this hearing if we've reached the point now where we really don't know what she thinks about any issues? I move to indefinitely postpone the nomination of not Amy yet. Coney Barrett. No, we're not. Republicans who hold the majority in the Senate countered. We've got the authority to do this. We've got historical precedent on our side. And we've also got the Constitution and the best nominee I've seen in a long time. Despite the push to stall from Democrats, the Judiciary Committee voted along party lines to move ahead with Judge Barrett's confirmation before members heard from all of the witnesses. Legal evaluators with the American Bar Association testified after the vote, as well as those both for and against Judge Barrett's nomination. The standing committee concluded that Judge Barrett had demonstrated professional competence to exceptional and sufficiently outstanding to be rated well qualified. Judge Barrett's views are far outside the mainstream. Outside the Supreme Court, demonstrators are split on Barrett's nomination, while Republican lawmakers are unified in their effort to have her confirmed before Election Day. All right, closer to home, we'll get a quick look at the weather. Dave, it's almost getting to that point where you need a hat and some gloves before you head outside. <laughs> I've already been wearing my hat okay. <laughs> and my coat. Gloves I've been holding off on, but the time is coming, and very soon to boot, because overnight low temps next couple of days will get into the 20s, supportive of the chance of snow we're talking about for Saturday. Right now, though, as we take a live look at what's going on around Cass Lake, you can see that there's a little bit of blue in the sky and a little bit of cloud as well, and that's because... Yesterday's low pressure system, you can still see it exiting to the east. It's still kicking up some showers for part of the area, while higher pressure is trying to take over and make things sunny but cool. And then, of course, there's the elephant on the map, the low pressure system farther to the west that's bringing us a chance for a bit of snow, indeed, for our Saturday, but not for our Friday. Friday, the high should win out. It should be clear to partly cloudy as the day goes on, but cooler than normal high temp, only 40, and there's those lows in the 20s. So coming up in a few minutes, We'll talk about fair weather Friday and foul weather Saturday and the odds of a payoff of snow, especially for northern Minnesota. Thanks, Dave. Still to come on Live at 5, kids in Minnesota are headed to the woods for an early shot at deer, plus a generous grant is helping transport cancer patients to their appointments. City by City is up next. And tonight at 6, mental health remains a top concern during the ongoing pandemic, how parents say their children's behavior is being impacted. You're watching Live at 5 with Kristen Bakke, Anthony Matt, and weather with meteorologist Dave Anderson on Live Local CBS 3. Watch Jeopardy at 4.30 followed by CBS 3 Live at 5 on Live Local CBS 3. If I'm your president, we'll develop and deploy rapid tests. We'll make the medical supplies and protective equipment that our country needs. In short, we'll do what we should have done from the very beginning. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Real Steel. Find yours. Not sold at Lowe's or the Home Depot. Pick up at over 9,000 local steel dealers. Find yours at steeldealers.com. Legendary. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Legendary. 
Right now, you can get $2,000 customer cash on a new 2020 Camry or new 2020 RAV4. Visit Toyota.com to learn more. Toyota, let's go places. Get out and experience the great outdoors this winter with gear from your friends at Continental Ski and Bike. Continental has Alpine, Nordic, and fat biking gear for the whole family. Looking to tune your current gear? Let Continental Technicians tune up your skis for your next adventure. Hello, I'm Steve Little with Bath Planet. For the month of October, we are offering free installation for bathtub, shower, safety tubs, and surrounds. Get your dream bathroom with free installation. As always, you can still get one of our great financing options for low monthly payments or zero down, zero interest, and zero payments until 2022. This offer ends October 31st, so call us today or go online to book your appointment to take advantage of this amazing offer. Bath Planet. Out of this world service, down to earth price. You can't fix the economy until you fix the COVID crisis. And he has no intention of doing anything about making it better for you all at home in terms of your health and your safety. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Welcome back to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look at Bayfield, Wisconsin. Is it always sunny there? I feel like every time we look <laughs> at Bayfield. It's always sunny in Bayfield. <laughs> yeah, it just always looks like a sunny blue sky day. Dave Anderson will have your full forecast in just a few minutes, but first let's take a look around the region. Youth hunters are hitting the woods this weekend for an early shot at deer. Plus, a generous grant is helping cancer patients make it to their appointments. That and more as we take you around the Northland city by city. Starting off in Ely, where young hunters are heading out to the woods for the official start of the Minnesota youth rifle season. The season began today and will last through Sunday the 18th. Youth hunters ages 10 through 17 are able to participate, but hunters 10 through 13 must have an adult mentor with them. Participation in the youth hunt does not impact the regular season, but any deer harvested will count towards the youth yearly bag limit. You can find a full list of regulations on the Minnesota DNR website. Next up, we're headed over to Ashland, where the Northwest Wisconsin Cancer Center has received a $6,000 grant from the American Cancer Society and Coles. The grant will go towards transporting cancer patients who need help getting to their appointments. The money helps the center meet its goal of ensuring no patient misses an appointment. And finally, we'll finish off in the Bay Area where the Shawamigan Humane Association has announced the cancellation of its annual fur ball. The fundraising event that raises money for the shelter was scheduled for November 7th. Last year, the event raised $25,000, which helped pay for procedures to prepare animals for adoption. Now, the CHA must find another way to cover the cost of those services. The shelter is encouraging animal lovers to donate directly to the CHA through their website. If there's something going on in your neighborhood that you think we should know about, send us an email and it might be featured as we go around the Northland city by city. Still to come on Live at 5, how COVID-19 could be negatively impacting women in the workplace. As we swap out pressure systems, there's still a linger, little bit of lingering shower activity going on out there. I'll talk about how long that'll last, the sunshine we get for Friday, and the bigger snow chance we get for Saturday. All of that right after the break. Season two is here, y'all. And yes, I am in an eye patch. How much more, Kelly, can it the get? The Kelly Clarkson Show, weekdays at 3 on CBS3. Let the celebration begin with Stokey's Liquor. We have everything you need to set the party off right. For your next dinner party, backyard barbecue, get together with friends, or private gathering, stop by one of our convenient Stokey's Liquor locations. We have a full selection of beer, wine, and spirits, all at unbeatable prices. No need to go anywhere else. Stokey's Liquor has everything you need. Make sure to visit us online at stokeysmeatmarket.com for weekly specials. Stokey's Liquor, with locations in Hermantown and Lakeside. Prime Appliance had hundreds of appliances on back order due to factory shutdowns. Then in one week, three truckloads showed up unexpectedly. So we decided truckload sale with overstock prices like this. Whirlpool 18 cubic foot smudge free stainless refrigerators just $6.96. Or GE and Amana gas ranges starting at just $4.49. Financing always available. Have our pros deliver and install or take it home today. Prime Appliance is the best place to buy your appliances. Let us prove it to you. It's coming. 
You ready? Because Toro Snow Days sale is here. With the number one brand in snowblowers, you will dominate winter. And now during Toro Snow Days, get up to $100 off select two-stage snowblowers, up to $40 off select 60-volt battery snowblowers, and up to $50 off select single-stage snowblowers, plus great financing offers. Win winter with Toro. Jeopardy at 4.30, followed by CBS 3 Live at 5 on Live Local CBS 3. Get your new ATV from Duluth Lawn and Sport, the region's largest power sports dealer. How families are juggling children, e-learning, and their careers during the pandemic. Yesterday's rain is gone. Sunshine came today. Like people linger from Friday, but the weekend could hold something different. Tonight at 6. CBS 3 Weather is brought to you by Stokey's Meat Market. Now, the CBS 3 Duluth WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. All right, Tony must be an ice angler because he just glanced over at this morning's low temperatures and said it's ice-making weather. He probably wants to get up and catch some fish. Well, it's a little too early now, but the process is indeed beginning. And you take a look at the low temps around the region this morning. We had a lot of 20s in Minnesota and a lot of lower 30s in Wisconsin and the UP. And with overnight temperatures like that lingering for the next week, yeah, that'll aid and abet the chance for snow that we're getting here on Saturday. It's really not much of a chance for most of us, but from the Iron Ranges to the Canadian border, there, there's a shot that something could try to stick. We'll talk about that after we take a quick look at the current conditions. It's 41 degrees at the airport with 41% relative humidity. Still windy, westerly at 15 miles per hour, and the air pressure actually at the surface a bit on the higher side at 1,015 millibars, but up aloft a few thousand feet, still low enough for the clouds to linger. And from the clouds for the next couple of hours, slight chance for some rain showers, and up north, a couple more snow flurries. Current temps include 38 in Ironwood and 43 for just about everybody else in northwestern Wisconsin. That makes my job easier. 43 in east central Minnesota as well at Moose Lake. And then oh, mid to upper 30s to lower 40s for much of the rest of the Arrowhead. Low temps again tonight, like they will dip into the 20s for a lot of Minnesota. Lower 30s a little more likely for Wisconsin and the Upper Peninsula. So now taking a look at the Doppler map, what we have going on is yesterday's low pressure system trying to track to the east with a new high pressure system coming in from the northwest and that's why we have higher pressure at the surface, lower pressure aloft and a splitting of the differences here with a cloudier sky and high barometric pressure readings and again for the next couple of hours, especially in Minnesota, a slight chance for a little bit of rain activity to the south and a couple of snow flurries up towards the north. But I do think for tomorrow, the high pressure will take full control of our region and we'll get sunshine, albeit with cooler conditions. And then into Saturday, you have a low pressure system. The next one coming up from the west here brings a chance for accumulating snow from the Iron Ranges to the Canadian border and really just flurries mixed in with rain for the rest of us. So how much snow is going to try to stick on Saturday? Latest estimates show that from the Mesabi and Vermilion up towards the Canadian border just might try to run one to three. And then just north of Duluth, it could try to go that way as well. Otherwise, much of the rest of the region likely will get just a trace to maybe an inch. And with high temps still threatening to get towards 40, I don't think it's going to last very long at all. Tonight in Minnesota, partly cloudy sky for most of us, but with stray rain showers still popping up. Low temps in the 20s to about 30 by the lake. For Wisconsin and Michigan, the low temps tonight will be in the mid to upper 20s for a lot of places, though lower 30s and a few secluded alcoves is possible there as well. Partly cloudy sky there. Tomorrow, sunny. Wisconsin, Michigan, highs near 40. For Minnesota, sunny. Highs from 35 to maybe 42. And then, of course, we're not going to call it Snowmageddon now because it's too early and we're not getting enough. But our first snow of the season is possible for a lot of towns here on Saturday, winding down to flurries on Sunday, breaking the action Monday, and then another go-around comes for Tuesday, Wednesday, and for Thursday. Thanks, Dave. A new study warns that the coronavirus could erase years of progress for working women. The report found that one in four women are considering downshifting their careers or leaving the workforce due to the impact of COVID-19. Michael George reports from New York. For many working women, the coronavirus has led to hard choices and new realities. I had a lot of anxiety. I was not sleeping at night. I never thought I would 
have to leave my job. When the pandemic hit, Kenesha Mayweather left a job as a warehouse associate because of safety concerns. I have a one-year-old. She has breathing issues, and I also have a 13-year-old. She has a rare type of cancer, and so I really had to leave my job because of them. A new joint study from McKinsey and Company and LeanIn.org finds one in four women are considering leaving the workforce or downshifting career goals because of the virus, far more than men. Women cannot be expected to live up to business as usual expectations right now. Nobody can. Only one in three women of color say they heard from a manager about how they might be doing following racial incidents of violence. We know that black women who had an ally over the course of the pandemic are two and a half times more likely to see a fair workplace and to want to stay. The study finds women also face a caregiving crisis during COVID-19, with mothers three times as likely as fathers to be responsible for child care. I was a third grade teacher. Kate Orr quit her job at an elementary school to care for her four-month-old. It's just human nature as a mother to want to do what's best for your family. Researchers suggest employers take bold steps during the pandemic to create a more flexible and fair workplace for women and men and set clear goals to ensure all employees feel supported. The report also found many senior level women are feeling burned out due to greater demands at work as well as at home. It's that time of the day where we get to talk about pets, and today's pet comes to us from Range Regional Animal Rescue in Hibbing. Meet Jax. He's a two-year-old Rottweiler pit mix with brindle coloring. Jax can be a very protective dog, especially around children, and even though he is protective, he is a gentle giant and can get along fine with other animals in the right situation. Jax loves to play catch and cuddle up afterwards. He's currently looking for a partner in crime or a family to settle down with. Jax is chipped, neutered, and ready to go and quite handsome if I do say so myself. If you'd like to set up an appointment to adopt him, you can call the number on your screen. Still to come, if you were wondering whether or not the annual Birkebeiner was still happening this year, we have some good news for you. It isn't always easy living in the Northland. Up here, we have to count on our neighbors and let them know they can always count on us. I have the honor of serving our community in the State Assembly. Down there, I'm fighting to make health care more affordable and broadband more accessible. My opponent has other ideas. He wants to help companies like Foxconn give tax cuts and bailouts to billionaires, leaving us behind. I'm Beth Myers, and you can always count on me. Access North, celebrating 35 years of service. Being retired, I was looking for a little supplemental income. Access North offered the perfect solution with their homemaking services position. It's not only personally rewarding helping other seniors and veterans, but it helps me stay active, the hours are flexible, and I can make some extra money too. For more information about their homemaking services and other employment positions, call Access North, Center for Independent Living today. This pandemic is like an earthquake that's shaken our lives and highlighted our challenges, like helping people and businesses recover while building a stronger and more just America. And that's why I'll work with anyone in either party to get things done in the Senate. One example, I've taken on the drug companies to make lower cost drugs like insulin available. I'm Tina Smith and I approve this message because I will move hell or high water to do what it takes to help my fellow Minnesotans. I worked for 47 years. Donald Trump, he's talking about messing with my Social Security. Them guys think it's monopoly money? No, it's our money. We work for it. You don't get to play with my finances. You don't get to play with my security for my family. Joe Biden looks out for the little guy. He understands what seniors are going through. I think he's going to keep Social Security safe. We need to get Biden in there to protect it. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Synergy. To us, it's the definition of what's behind the curtain. It's your business and our team of experts working together to design and fabricate the perfect window treatments that look and function greater than what we could have created separately. Discover what we can create together. Bellinger Draperies, Shades, and Blinds. Shades above the rest. Be smart. Be active. Be confident. 
Vision Pro Optical is here for you. Specializing in eye exams, glasses, contacts, and billing your insurance. Serving the Northland for more than 30 years with you as our focus. Visit visionprooptical.com for hours and location details. Vision Pro Optical. Be and be seen. Remove your spooky tree for free with Sawtooth Arbor Supply and Tree Care. Post your dead spooky tree photo on Facebook or Instagram. Grand prize is free spooky tree removal. The Kelly Clarkson Show, right here. Weekdays at 3 on CBS3. Good news for cross-country ski racers. The 2020 American Bergebiner is still on and with COVID safety in mind. The 47th annual race will combine the Berkey, Cordelopit, and Prince Hogan races spread out over five days. This year, courses will start and finish at the Berkey Trailhead in Cable, Wisconsin. Start waves will be spaced out each morning to reduce congestion and close contact. Now, Berkey Executive Director Ben Pop says they had to make necessary changes to keep the event running. Berkey 2021, which is going to arguably be a little bit different. One of the highlights is finishing in downtown Hayward with, like I said, typically 25 to 30,000 people cheering you on. Um, and now it's going to be different. We can't do that. We have to eliminate some of those touch points. The event will not offer bus transportation or warming tents this year. Berkey Week runs February 24th to the 28th, and we have more event details on our website. People gathered in Aurora today to celebrate the announcement of a new market coming to town. Owners of the Nashwalk Market brought their grocery items to the East Range, where their new market will soon be. The Aurora Market will be located at the former LTV Union Hall in town. Those involved with the project say they have some construction work to do to the building space and anticipate opening the doors next summer. But if you can't wait until then, the Nashwalk Market will be offering contactless delivery while construction is underway. We see this as an excellent opportunity to provide uh, healthy foods to an area that does not currently have them and, and an opportunity to expand and grow our business. Owners say the market will also offer new employment opportunities in the area. Aurora Market is expected to create 10 to 20 permanent union jobs. Coming up on the CBS Evening News... A record-breaking rise in new coronavirus infections. Tonight, Kamala Harris is spending all in-person campaign events after two members of her team test positive. Plus, the economic toll of the pandemic, nearly 8 million Americans plunge into poverty as food lines become lifelines. And meet the group of teens whose innovative podcast on mental health has everyone talking, even Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. That's all tonight here on the CBS Evening News. CBS3 closed captioning is brought to you by Essentia Health. Need a flu shot? Find flu booth dates and locations at EssentiaHealth.org. Ready, set, internet. Extreme has the speed and price to get you online fast. Stop waiting and get going for as low as $19.99 a month for a year with speeds from 60 meg up to 1 gig. Powerful in-home Wi-Fi and 99.99% network reliability. Extreme has what you need to stay ahead and stay on track. Hurry and get Extreme Internet for as low as $19.99 a month for one year. Dial 844-EXTREME2. St. Anne's Assisted Living, here when you needed us before, here when you need us now. We're open for business. Call to schedule your personal tour now. 218-727-8831. I support Pete Stauber because Pete Stauber has working men and women's backs. Pete Stauber has worked to get our economy reopened and bring jobs back to Minnesota. Pete doesn't care about politics. He cares about doing his job and creating jobs for us. Fighting for our jobs, fighting for our families, fighting for our way of life. This isn't about politics. This is about protecting jobs in Minnesota. Pete Stauber's there for us when the rubber meets the road. Pete Stauber for Congress. I'm Pete Stauber and I approve this message. The Kelly Clarkson Show, right here. Weekdays at 3 on CBS 3. The role of a journalist is to report about what our government is doing. The Supreme Court is at the center of a monumental battle. I feel an incredible responsibility. This is the moment. We have to make sure that we're right, that we're fair. The president said he wants this done before Election Day. Can it be done? And bring Americans a greater understanding, but also hopefully bring Americans closer together. That's why I wanted to become a journalist. This is the moment. Season two is here, y'all. And yes, I am in an eye patch. How much?
much more, Kelly. Can it The yet? Kelly Clarkson Show, weekdays at 3 on CBS3. Welcome back to the CBS3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look over Canal Park. Let's take a quick look at some of today's top stories and a peek at what's coming up tonight at 6. Duluth area hospitals say they're seeing an increase in patient hospitalizations, but it's not necessarily patients who've tested positive for COVID-19. Hospital officials say many patients have been reluctant to seek care for medical diseases or get preventative care due to the pandemic. The delay in care has resulted in many ending up in the emergency room and overnight stays in the hospital. As of today, the county is reporting 627 cases total. 223 of those have been reported in the last two weeks. Ten residents are currently hospitalized with three in the ICU in Itasca County. One new death was reported over the weekend. And tonight at 6, mental health remains a top concern during the ongoing pandemic. Recent research found 27% of parents across the country reported worsening mental health for themselves and 14% reported worsening behavioral health for their children. More on that at 6. That's your news at 5. The CBS Evening News is next. Thanks for watching.